Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today we're back in spin tires with the NYC Tico Racks GMC truck. Now, this particular GMC truck, it's actually, I don't know, it's kind of, um, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. It's that early 90s kind of square body GMC, uh, design, but... It's, uh, it's, it's, the textures are pretty decent, and the tires, I actually really like how much detail, uh, is on the tires. It's on the, um, Toyo Open, actually, no, sorry, it's on the defaults. Uh, you can swap it to Toyo Open Country 38s, but the default ones, they're the same tread pattern. They are Toyo Open Countries, but they're more like, I would say, maybe 35s. If the 38s are that much bigger, I'd say, yeah, the stock ones are probably 35s. Um, there is a weird little thing you need to do with it in order to load the trailer, and that is you need to put those massive super swampers on the back and drive it forward. Um, basically what this does is I guess it's some kind of way to, um, I don't know if it's a way to load the trailer because he couldn't really figure out how to do it otherwise, or because this is just an easy way to do it, I'm not quite sure. Um, but what you can do is you've got a, uh, a blank trailer. Uh, building supplies, tools, basically kind of whatever you need. But I'm going to put the building supplies on, and that kind of like just shakes the truck around. And then I'm going to go with the um, the Toyo Open Country 38s, because the 38s, um, they look pretty badass, honestly, like just kind of tucked up under the fenders like that. And then I'm going to install the toolbox and the extra tools, just so we can kind of be, uh, just so it looks kind of, you know, extra, extra realistic and kind of cool. But, um, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be doing kind of a, kind of a challenge, a, uh, um, a little bit of an unorthodox challenge, but we're going to be doing a, uh, building materials delivery. So not quite your normal spin tires mission, but, uh, but it should be fun nonetheless. So our objective is like all the way out here and I've never tried to tow on this map before. I don't know if we'll make it there with this, to be honest, but I feel like, you know, I, I feel like it might be possible, but at the same time, it might be really, really hard, so I'll see what happens, and I hope that we can make it out there, I think that it should be, oh god, that's a, that's a camera angle for you, but, um, it shouldn't be all too bad, I don't think, but at the end of the day, you never know, because it is spin tires after all, so, which way should we go? Uh, hmm. I'm actually going to take this side trail because I know for a fact that the wider trail actually has, um, it's, it's weird because you would think that this particular trail that we're taking is actually the side trail, but it, it, it really isn't the, well, it sort of is, but the main trail is so full of holes and, you know, holes and rocks and issues and crap that you don't want to deal with that it just makes a lot more sense to take the slightly longer way around, especially when you have a trailer. There you go. See, it's it's a very it's a very usable truck. It's not like it's it's not like it has issues. It's just you deal with some certain things like, you know, like the trailer getting hung up on on, you know, on a hill or on a crest or something. But those are things that you would deal with anyway. So it's not like they're really issues with the truck, it's just things that you have to deal with when you're using a setup like this. Come on, pull! Oh, pull, damn it. God, okay, I think the trailer may have had a snag, a slight snag, but still a snag. One that may impede progress just a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. That was old, that pretty much lifted the front axle off the ground. You know you've got a hell of a winch. First of all, you know you've got a hell of a winch when it can lift the the entire front of the front end of the truck off the ground and pull your trailer up a hill. That's like that that's that's not even that's not even a worn winch right there. That's like that's past worn winches. That's just That's just crazy at that point. That's like holy that that that, that winch might as well be called holy shit winches. Or the holy holy shit winch company. Yeah, this is just winch after winch after winch. 
it's just what you need to do here. It's, again, it, like, I'm not going to rag on the truck for it because it's not the truck's problem. It's more just the fact that we have such a big trailer. Need to pull over to the left, not the right. That's part of our issue right there. It's trying. It's, it's, God, that, oh, the tire rope would be so bad. The tire would be gone. That or the fender. It's like, it, it wants to, there it is. Well, like, it wants to move. It just hasn't moved yet. It's just like, I can't, I, it's like, the truck's like, don't make me. The trailer's holding me back. And uh, the winch is like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we're not done here yet. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's winch time again. God, CCS needs to put a trailer hitch, or either a trailer hitch, like a drop hitch, or a um, gooseneck hitch in the bed of that six-door Mega Ram. That would be so good. That would be amazing. I mean, you would have all the lift to tackle any, you know, any ruts you might find yourself in, and you have all the power, and you just, I mean, like, that would just be the, the perfect tow rig in my eyes. I'd tow everything with that. But I do have to say, this thing's not, not doing too shabby at all. Next up is a full-on mud section, so this might be, this might be a challenge, but we have yet to see, because this truck, ha we haven't really, we haven't really tried out any kind of mud or water sections. I mean, it's pretty much submerged. Oh, well, it is submerged now. It's coming back though, like, it's, it's moving forward, it's got grip and it's moving forward, it's not like it's, you know, it's not like it's done and it's dead, it's actually, you know, moving along pretty well, I'm impressed. I think too, the thing is, you don't really, <laughs> you don't really end up with a, um, god, what am I, like, you don't really, you don't really end up with that, that, that feeling like the truck is gonna stop, you just know it's gonna be a slow go. Oh, yes. Okay, thank God we have a winch point out there. That pretty much saved our asses, because that wasn't, that wasn't there before. Ah, the transmission tried to shift. Should have left it in low, uh, low three. I almost said low one. Low one's too damn, too damn low. Yeah, you put it in low one, we'll, you'll, you'll get to the objective, but you'll get to it about three years later in low one. Trust me, and ask me how I know. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I forgot that the, the guy that made this map was a total evil bastard and put a tree in the middle of the trail. The trailer's gonna hate that, but there's only one thing we can do. I mean, we have to go... Well, I was gonna say go over it, but go through it, I guess, works too. Never mind. <laughs> that's... Wow. That's like... I... I I don't know what to say. I mean, <laughs> I mean, maybe he just liked the aesthetic of that, so he put it there, like the map maker. Maybe he put it there and was like, "Yeah, but I'm gonna be nice to the guys that are towing trailers, and just let it be a transparent, you know, no clip. I'm gonna let it be a no clip tree." Winch Hill time. I too love Winch Hills. Not really, but you could, I mean, I guess sometimes without winch hills, maps wouldn't be interesting. I should have left the winch connected. I should have left the winch connected because we rolled back just a hair, just a hair further than I would have wanted to, honestly. Oh God, oh God, that was, that was gnarly. Yeah, that's much better. Go, 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 go. trailer might high center here, but honestly, we're just gonna have to go with it and let it happen, and if it high centers, it... Wow, it actually didn't high center. I mean, it helps a lot with it being a triple axle trailer like, to prevent high centering, and that's honestly the setup I most prefer when I'm towing off-road, but I was really concerned it was gonna high center there. Really concerned. Wonder how much further we have to go at this point, honestly, because it's like... 
you shouldn't have much further. Or we shouldn't have much further. Truck's kind of going off into that rut in the side. Oh, crap. That's the last place I wanted the truck to go to. Oh, go, 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 go. Yes, come on, stay, stay with that line. That line is good. That line is beautiful. Stay with that line. Get over the hump. Come on. Not bad. Really not bad. And then, well, that's a... See, now, <laughs> you, you're like, yeah, that worked. And then you find yourself in a strange situation where you're like, uh, uh... <laughs> Like, how should I plan my next move? Because this area is so unorthodox for a gooseneck trailer, it's not even funny. Where's the trail go? It goes over here. How far away are we? Oh, I see. We're kind of in these back and forth S curves right now, and then it kind of straightens out a little bit, and then it's kind of like just a clear shot to the uh, clear shot to the objective. We're definitely, you know, definitely past halfway, though. Holy crap, it actually did shift into high. I was curious as to whether or not it would, and it did. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how long we're going to stay in high, because the control factor might go out the window, but... Yeah, come on, trail goes left. Come on, trail goes left, so truck needs to go left. But truck is being stubborn. I have a solution for this. It's called a winch. It's called a winch and creative thinking. Yes. Almost there, almost there. Come on. Got one more set of hills to deal with. Which, in high, this thing will make short work of. Okay. Oh, don't jackknife, please. Don't jackknife on me, please. Please. Pull from over there. There we go. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that was nasty. But it's okay, because we managed to get out of it. Not really get out of it, but we managed to kind of steer clear. What we didn't manage to steer clear of was that tree. Now we need to steer back the other way, because that's a little bit further than I wanted to go. Come on! And now just stay with the trail. This automatic works itself up in gears really quick. There you go. Stay in it. Oh, hey, not bad. I mean, if you can, if you stay in the throttle in high, up a hill, it will, like, it will get the grip it needs, and it will shove that trailer up a hill. Well, pull it, rather, but. Oh, yep. Got to the point where it was like, nope, I'm done with you and your shenanigans. And I was like, nope, I'm putting you back in auto. You are not done with my, you are not done with my shenanigans yet. Almost time to let this truck rest. But not quite. It's got more work left to do. How much more work does it have left to do? Oh, dude, it's so close. We are seriously right there. There you go, there you go, there you go. Pull, 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 not bad. There it is. We've done it. Well, we haven't done it quite yet, but we've almost done it. We have seriously almost done it, and I am, oh, well, stuck. And I am, oh, well, stuck. <laughs> it's okay. That's how it goes in spin tires sometimes. Don't worry about it. Oh. Tried to change camera. Got offline with my, with my freaking camera angle, and then drove off the edge of the road.
And here we are. Dude. Well, hey, I mean, that was, that was a nice little adventure. That was a nice little adventure, and I am very proud of this truck. I think it did a really good job, and I like it a lot, and I will be using it for more towing episodes in the future. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, it was a little long, but if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and hope you guys enjoyed.